Hello, this is Mike, no stress Mike dot com. Um, I'm in China and I've been here. Well, the first time I was here is spring in uh, 2017, and then I came back in uh, November of the 17, and now it's um, uh, March of 18. And I've uh, when I was here before, I was in one part of China, and I stayed there uh, a month in one place, and a month, oh, two months in another place. So I, so I stayed long enough to kind of get, get the feel of the area. And uh, now this time, I've been, um, uh, in, since I came in November, I came to... Uh, uh, other parts. Uh, one was uh, Shanghai, and uh, Shanghai is just big city. That's, that's all it is. And uh, now, and then uh, down at the southern part, uh, down by Hong Kong. When I say down by there, I mean probably two or three hundred miles from Hong Kong. And then uh, about the same it is right now. Now I'm in northern. China and probably, I don't know, I'd say two or three hundred miles from Mongolia. Uh, so I've kind of been around and I, you know, and I've, it's not like I'm a visitor and just get on a tour bus and go around. I mean, I stay there. I associate with the people. And uh, <clears throat> this is what I want to talk about. Uh, the differences in the, the cultures in the country. And I'll let you look around while I'm doing all this. I'm in a Plum Blossom Festival. Uh, and see, these people are taking pictures. And uh, there's, there's a lot, I'm on the edge of it. And it's a, it's, there's, there's hundreds of people here. And I say I'm on the very edge of it. But, uh, uh, and uh, where I'm at is in Yongyu, uh, um, uh, China. And um, uh, it's, I say, northern China. By look, when you look at the map, uh, you can probably find Cheng, Esi, Chengdu, Chindu, and go north of that. And then that's where, that's where I'm at. Uh, it's about 800,000 population. And that's a small city. And it is small. Uh, it doesn't have all the stores and stuff that you would find in the big cities. And the big cities have millions of people in them. So, uh, but anyway. Uh, and, uh. I say what I've noticed, uh, and I'm talking about the cultures, uh, one of the, the differences in, uh, and I say, well, I'm like everybody else, where, what, where you've been, that's what you, you judge things by, you compare things where you've been. And I say, I'm an American. And uh, even though I uh, moved out of America, let's see, 2002, 2003, something like that, moved down to Central America, and uh, spent 14 years down there, and then uh, kind of just kind of globe trotted around after that, and ended up in China. Now I'm married in China. And uh, look at the, this is a, a typical Chinese dog too. They're kind of little, and uh, but this is a mixed a mixed breed there. But still, that's kind of what they kind of what what they look like, kind of like that. Oh, uh, let's see where is it? Yeah, there he is. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the things. The thing that America is really, really different 
uh, than other parts of the world. Uh, all the places that I've been, I'm not a all over the world kind of guy, but the, the, the thing is, the places I go, I stay for some time. And so I, and in time, you see the the good and you see the bad uh, on what do these countries, you know, have. You know, you can only, it's like you meet somebody. They can be real nice, but they can only be so nice for so long, and then their real personality shows. Well, it's the same thing when you move come, come to a country. If you're there for a couple of weeks, boy, it's nice and uh, pretty. The people are nice and stuff like that. Well, that's because you're staying around where the visitors, uh, tourists are. And uh, but when you spend time, you end up being all over the place, and uh, that's basically basically the what I've been doing is going all over the place. And yeah, like, see, I can be walking down this nice path right there, but I choose a different path. And I say so, but what I've noticed, uh, I've been in, uh, say, the north, uh, northwest part of China, um, the south, uh, west part.